The historical Vedic religion also known as Vedism, Brahmanism, Vedic Brahmanism, and ancient Hinduism refers to the religious ideas and practices among Indo-Aryan-speaking peoples of ancient India after about 1500 BCE. These ideas and practices are found in the Vedic texts, and they were one of the major influences that shaped contemporary Hinduism. According to the Encyclopaedia Britannica, in the Hindu tradition and particularly in India, the Vedic religion is considered to be a part of Hinduism. According to Heinrich von Stetenkron, in the 19th century Western publications, the Vedic religion was believed to be different from and unrelated to Hinduism. The Hindu religion was thought to be linked to the Hindu epics and the Puranas through sects based on Purohatha, Tantras, and Bhakti. In the 20th century, a better understanding of the Vedic religion, its shared heritage and theology with contemporary Hinduism, has led scholars to gradually encompass Brahmanism and the Vedic religion into Hinduism. The Hindu reform movements and the Neo-Vedanta emphasized the Vedic heritage and ancient Hinduism, and this term has been co-opted by some Hindus. Vedic religion is now generally accepted to be a predecessor of Hinduism, but they are not the same because the textual evidence suggests significant differences between the two. The Vedic religion is described in the Vedas and associated voluminous Vedic literature preserved into the modern times by the different priestly schools. The Vedic religion texts are cerebral, orderly and intellectual, but it is unclear if the theory in diverse Vedic texts actually reflect the folk practices, iconography and other practical aspects of the Vedic religion. The evidence suggests that the Vedic religion evolved in two superficially contradictory directions, state Jameson and Witzel. One part evolved into ever more elaborate, expensive, and specialized system of rituals, while another part questioned all of it and emphasized abstraction and internalization of the principles underlying ritual and cosmic speculation within oneself. Both of these traditions impacted Indic religions such as Buddhism and Jainism, and in particular Hinduism. The complex Vedic rituals of Srauta continue to be practiced in coastal Andhra. Some scholars consider the Vedic religion to have been a composite of the religions of the Indo Aryans, a syncretic mixture of old Central Asian, new Indo European elements, which borrowed distinctive religious beliefs and practices from the Bactria Margiana culture, and the remnants of the Harappan culture of the Indus Valley. <laughs> Nomenclature Topic. The term Brahmanism is related to the metaphysical concept of Brahman that developed during the Vedic era. The concept of Brahman is posited as that which existed before the creation of the universe, which constitutes all of existence thereafter, and into which the universe will dissolve into, followed by similar endless creation maintenance destruction cycles. According to Indologist Jan Heesterman, the terms Vedism and Brahmanism are somewhat imprecise terms. They refer to ancient forms of Hinduism based on the ideologies found in its early literary corpus. Vedism refers to the oldest version, states Heesterman, and it was older than Brahmanism. Vedism refers to the religious ideas of Indo-Europeans who migrated into the Indus River Valley region of the subcontinent, whose religion relied on the Vedic corpus including the early Upanishads. Brahmanism, according to Heesterman, refers to the religion that had expanded to a region stretching from the northwest subcontinent to the Ganges Valley. Brahmanism included the Vedic corpus and non-Vedic literature such as the Dharmasutras and Dharmasastras, and was the version of ancient Hinduism that gave prominence to the priestly Brahman class of the society. According to the Encyclopaedia Britannica, Brahmanism refers to both the predominant position of the priests Brahmins and the importance given to absolute reality Brahman speculations in the early Upanishads, as these terms are etymologically linked. Origins and development Topic. The Vedic religion was probably the religion of the Vedic Indo-Aryans, and existed in northern India from c. 1750–500 BCE. The Indo-Aryans were a branch of the Indo-European language family, which originated in the Sintashta culture and further developed into the Andronovo culture, which in turn developed out of the Kurgan culture of the Central Asian steppes. The commonly proposed period of earlier Vedic age is dated back to 2nd millennium BCE. The Vedic beliefs and practices of the pre classical era has been proposed to be closely related to the hypothesized Proto Indo European religion, and shows relations with rituals from the Andronovo culture, from which the Indo Aryan people descended. 
According to Anthony, the old Indic religion probably emerged among Indo-European immigrants in the contact zone between the Zaravshan River (present-day Uzbekistan) and present-day Iran. It was a syncretic mixture of old Central Asian and new Indo-European elements, which borrowed distinctive religious beliefs and practices from the Bactria Margiana culture (BMAC). This syncretic influence is supported by at least 383 non-Indo-European words that were borrowed from this culture, including the god Indra and the ritual drink Soma. According to Anthony, many of the qualities of Indo-Iranian god of might, victory, Varithrana, were transferred to the adopted god Indra, who became the central deity of the developing old Indic culture. Indra was the subject of 250 hymns, a quarter of the Rig Veda. He was associated more than any other deity with soma, a stimulant drug perhaps derived from ephedra probably borrowed from the BMAC religion. His rise to prominence was a peculiar trait of the Old Indic speakers. The oldest inscriptions in Old Indic, the language of the Rig Veda, are found not in northwestern India and Pakistan, but in northern Syria, the location of the Mitanni kingdom. The Mitanni kings took Old Indic throne names, and Old Indic technical terms were used for horse riding and chariot driving. The Old Indic term Artha, meaning, cosmic order and truth, the central concept of the Rig Veda, was also employed in the Mitanni kingdom. Old Indic gods, including Indra, were also known in the Mitanni kingdom. The Vedic religion of the later Vedic period was consolidated in the Kuru kingdom, and coexisted with local religions, such as the Yaksha cults, and was itself the product of a composite of the Indo-Aryan and Harappan cultures and civilizations." David Gordon White cites three other mainstream scholars who "...have emphatically demonstrated that Vedic religion is partially derived from the Indus Valley civilization. The religion of the Indo-Aryans was further developed when they migrated into the Ganges plain after c. 1100 BCE and became settled farmers, further syncretizing with the native cultures of northern India. Textual history Texts dating to the Vedic period, composed in Vedic Sanskrit, are mainly the four Vedic Samhitas, but the Brahmanas, Aranyakas and some of the older Upanishads Chandogya, Jaimaniya Upanishad Brahmana are also placed in this period. The Vedas record the liturgy connected with the rituals and sacrifices. These texts are also considered as a part of the scripture of contemporary Hinduism. Topic: Characteristics. Topic: Topic: Rituals. Topic: Specific rituals and sacrifices of the Vedic religion include among others the Soma rituals, which involved the extraction, utility and consumption of Soma, the Agnistoma or Soma sacrifice, fire rituals involving oblations Havir. the Agnihotra or oblation to Agni, a sun charm, the Agnikayana, the sophisticated ritual of piling the fire altar, the new and full moon as well as the seasonal sacrifices, the royal consecration sacrifice, the Ashvamedha horse sacrifice or a yajna dedicated to the glory, well-being and prosperity of the kingdom or empire. The Purushamedha The rituals and charms referred to in the Atharvaveda are concerned with medicine and healing practices. The Hindu rites of cremation are seen since the Rigvedic period, while they are attested from early times in the cemetery H culture. There is a late Rigvedic reference invoking forefathers, both cremated Agnadagda and uncremated Anagnadagda. RV 10.15.14 Topic Pantheon Topic Though a large number of names for devas occur in the Rigveda only 33 devas are counted 11 each of earth space and heaven The Vedic pantheon knows two classes devas and asuras The devas Mitra Varuna Aryaman Bhaga AMSA etc are deities of cosmic and social order from the universe and kingdoms down to the individual The Rigveda is a collection of hymns to various deities most notably heroic Indra Agni the sacrificial fire and messenger of the gods and Soma the deified sacred drink of the Indo-Iranians Also prominent is Varuna often paired with Mitra and the group of all gods the Vishvadevas 
Topic: Sages. Topic: In the Hindu tradition, the revered sages of this era were Yajnavalkya, Atharvan, Atri, Bharadvaja, Gautama Maharishi, Jamadagni, Kashyapa, Vasistha, Bhrigu, Kutsa, Palastya, Kratu, Palaha, Vishwamitra Narayana, Kanva, Rishaba, Vamadeva, and Angiras. Topic. Ethics Satya and Rta Topic. Ethics in the Vedas are based on the concepts of Satya and Urta. Satya is the principle of integration rooted in the Absolute. Panikkar remarks, Urta is the ultimate foundation of everything, it is the supreme, although this is not to be understood in a static sense. It is the expression of the primordial dynamism that is inherent in everything. The term is also found in the Proto-Indo-Iranian religion, the religion of the Indo-Iranian peoples. The term Dharma was already used in Brahmanical thought, where it was conceived as an aspect of Urta. Post-Vedic religions the Vedic period is held to have ended around 500 BCE. The period between 800 BCE and 200 BCE is the formative period for later Hinduism, Jainism and Buddhism. According to Michaels, the period between 500 BCE and 200 BCE is a time of ascetic reformism. According to Michaels, the period between 200 BCE and 1100 CE is the time of classical Hinduism, since there is a turning point between the Vedic religion and Hindu religions. Muse discerns a longer period of change, namely between 800 BCE and 200 BCE, which he calls the classical period, when traditional religious practices and beliefs were reassessed. The Brahmins and the rituals they performed no longer enjoyed the same prestige they had in the Vedic period. According to Muse, some of the fundamental concepts of Hinduism, namely karma, reincarnation and personal enlightenment and transformation, which did not exist in the Vedic religion, developed between 800 BCE and 200 BCE. Some scholars consider the term Brahmanism as synonymous with Hinduism and use it interchangeably. Others consider them different, and that the transition from ancient Brahmanism into schools of Hinduism that emerged later as a form of evolution, one that preserved many of the central ideas and theosophy in the Vedas, and synergistically integrated new ideas. Of the major traditions that emerged from Brahmanism are the six darshanas, particular the Vedanta, Samkhya and Yoga schools of Hinduism. Topic. Vedanta Topic. Vedic religion was followed by Upanishads which gradually evolved into Vedanta, which is regarded by some as the primary institution of Hinduism. Vedanta considers itself the purpose or goal end of the Vedas. There are some conservative schools which continue portions of the historical Vedic religion largely unchanged see Srauta, Nambudiri, of the continuation of the Vedic tradition in a newer sense. Janine D. Fowler writes the following. Topic. Bhakti Topic. According to German professor Axel Michaels, the Vedic gods declined but did not disappear, and local cults were assimilated into the Vedic Brahmanic pantheon, which changed into the Hindu pantheon. Deities such as Shiva and Vishnu became more prominent and gave rise to Shaivism and Vaishnavism. Topic. Interpretations of Vedic mantras in Hinduism The various Hindu schools and traditions give various interpretations of the Vedic hymns. Mimamsa philosophers argue that there was no need to postulate a maker for the world, just as there was no need for an author to compose the Vedas or a god to validate the rituals. Mimamsa argues that the gods named in the Vedas have no existence apart from the mantras that speak their names. To that regard, the power of the mantras is what is seen as the power of gods. Adi Shankara, an 8th century CE philosopher who unified and established the main currents of thought in Hinduism, interpreted Vedas as being non dualist or monist. However, the Arya Samaj new religious movement holds the view that the Vedic mantras tend to monotheism. Even the earlier mandalas of Rig Veda contains hymns which are thought to resemble monotheism. 
Often quoted isolated pada 1.164.46 of the Rig Veda states trans. Griffith Indram Mitram Varunamagnimaharatho Divya Sa Suparno Garutman Ekam Sad Vipra Bahuda Vedantyanam Yamam Matarisvanamaha They call him Indra, Mitra, Varuna, Agni, and he is heavenly nobly winged Garutman. To what is one, sages give many a title they call it Agni, Yama, Matarisvan. Moreover, the verses of 10.129 and 10.130 deal with the one being Ekam Sat. The verse 10.129.7 further confirms this trans. Griffith Iam visarsta yada ababuva, yadi va dade yadi va na, ya azia adyaksa parame vioman, sa anga veda yadi va na veda. He, the first origin of this creation, whether he formed it all or did not, he who surveys it all from his highest heaven, he verily knows it, or perhaps even he does not. Topic. Sramana tradition Topic. The non-Vedic Sramana traditions existed alongside Brahmanism. These were not direct outgrowths of Vedism, but movements with mutual influences with Brahmanical traditions, reflecting the cosmology and anthropology of a much older, pre-Aryan upper class of northeastern India. Jainism and Buddhism evolved out of the Sramana tradition. There are Jaina references to 22 prehistoric Tirthankaras. In this view, Jainism peaked at the time of Mahavira, traditionally put in the 6th century BCE. Buddhism, traditionally put from c. 500 BCE, declined in India over the 5th to 12th centuries in favor of Puranic Hinduism and Islam. Topic: See also Topic. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Printed sources. Web sources Topic. Further reading Topic. Witzel, Michael Early Sanskritization, Origin and Development of the Kuru State. PDF, EJVS, Volume 1 no. 4 archived from the original PDF on the 11th of June 2007 Topic. External links Topic. Vedic Religion, Encyclopædia Britannica The Vedas, Ancient History Encyclopedia